Okay, today we're going to show you how to change the battery on a standard Mazda flip key. Okay, so the thing that keeps this part of the key together with this part of the key is just this little tab here and it bends in and out and when it's out it locates into a hole and you can see that hole just there. The important thing about this is when you press it in this tab here is quite brittle and if you press it too hard the tab will snap off um, and then it won't keep the key together anymore. Okay so this is one where the actual tabs already broken off and we'll show you in a minute why uh, it's important that you don't do this. Okay so you'll need to find something to poke in the tab. This is a small little pick we use at work but you can use a tiny little screwdriver. Then you want to put the pick into the hole or whatever you've got, a screwdriver into a hole. Give it a press and you see that comes open and then that will pull apart. Okay, so the next thing is to open this part of the key is how it's split along that line there and along a line there and the way to open it is to look for this little slot here and pop a screwdriver in there. Okay, so if you can get a screwdriver that's the same size as the slot, pop it into the slot, just give it a gentle twist and you'll see the key starts to come away and then just gently pull it open, put the circuit board to one side and then there is your key battery. And you can see here that you can't see any writing and so when you put the new key battery in there it needs to be writing down. So just get something little just to poke in there. We use this pick again but you can use a tiny little screwdriver or something like that. Pop the battery out and it is a, a 1620. Okay so plus sign on there and a plus sign on the battery so pop it back in. Okay so the best thing you do is to turn this over and pop it onto there. Just locate it in the right place and it will click together and just make sure that lights up which it does. Now if you put this part onto the key battery part what tends to happen is all these bits fall out and then you're left with a load of bits and you've got to get all the bits back together all right so if that happens it's really simple um, just place the um, parts back in okay and then try again so the best thing is to Avoid that by putting the key battery part on top of the button part. Right, so if you do manage to break that tab, what happens is there's nothing holding these two together. So the main thing is don't glue the two parts together. What you need to do is either get a new key or apply some sellotape. And so unless you're going to get a new key, just stick some tape around here. Don't glue it. If you glue it, you will never get it open again. Okay, so with the four button Mazda flip key, you are good to go.